Hello teens! I'm Pastor Jodel and this is Fearless Friday. So, fearless teens, let us all worship the Lord. Colossians 3, verse 23. Whatever you do, work heartily. Ask for the Lord and not for men. Our challenge for you today is to answer our quiz by typing your answers in our comment box below. So, let's start. Number one, true or false from our verse. In everything we do, we are to work heartily. One, two, three. The very answer is true number two true or false still from our verse we are to work heartily for men one two three the correct answer is false we are to work heartily for the lord and last question what is your verse for this week's episode letter a nahum 1 verse 10 letter b proverbs 4 verse 23 or letter c colossians 3 verse 23 one two Three, four, and five. The correct answer is letter C. It's Colossians 3, verse 23. So, did you get a perfect score, teens? That's wonderful. I hope you enjoyed our quiz. This is verse of the week. See you next week, teens. God bless! Good day, destination. I am Pastor Mark, and welcome to What's Up, Teens. 1 Thessalonians 5.21 says, But examine everything carefully, hold fast to that which is good. So we are still on lockdown right now and a lot of you are still at home and you're not able to go out and do shopping. So what you do, you go and shop online using this Lazada or Shopee. Well, these platforms are okay. I do use those things. But there are things that we should be mindful about. Like for example, impulsive buying. So browsing Lazada or Shopee makes you feel that you need something. So it makes you feel that you need it, but in actuality, you don't. You really have to think about it and ask yourself, do I really need it? Song of Solomon 2 verse 15, catch the foxes for us the little foxes that spoil the vineyards for our vineyards are in blossom so guys you need to save up money and this shopping apps they are not helping us save money but instead lose money but the question is why do we end up checking out our carts in Shopee or Lazada well because things there are cheaper well, we think that they are cheaper because of the discount. They say it's 70%, but actually 
it's already the real price. And they have lots of promo, coupons, voucher that we can use for a limited time. And it makes you feel I need to buy it now or else the voucher will be forfeited. Proverbs 14.29 He who is slow to wrath has great understanding, but he who is impulsive exalts folly. As someone said to me, think about it for a week, after a week, then decide if you really need it. And there are some young people who buys online in Shopee or Lazada and have it delivered to their house and still unpaid. We call that COD or cash on delivery. And the problem with that is this. Your parents are the one paying for those things instead of you. So you are putting your parents on the spot. Well, surely they love to bless you or buy you gifts, but that is not honoring your parents. Ephesians 6 verse 1 to 3, Children, obey your parents and Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment of the promise that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. So there you have it, guys. You know what? You need to examine everything carefully, even the things that you buy, and hold fast to that which is good. This is What's Up Teens, and you are destined for Christ. Hello, hello to you teens! Welcome back to Teens in Tune. I am Pastora Crystal, and once again, we have another song feature for you. That is sure Bible-based, and the singers are solid Christians. For today's episode, that is the song, No Better Day by Called Out Music. Samuel, also known as Called Out Music, Mochukwu, is a music producer, singer, songwriter, and a multi-instrumentalist from Hampshire, England. Growing up in Nigeria, he and his family moved to the United Kingdom when he was 12 years old. He began playing the piano at the age of 7 after his father brought him a keyboard and he sparkled with creativity ever since. And as he grew up, he worked as a music director in various churches in the United Kingdom. He started the gospel ministry called out with aim to share to everybody that will listen that we are called out for service to God. Amen. The song No Better Way is from his latest album entitled Come Home and it talks about the difference of having Jesus in one's life. How Jesus in his goodness turns darkness into light from hopeless to hopeful and everything beautiful it says here in first john 1 9 if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness let us listen to this song there's no better way to really say i love you than to do what you say what you say every day there's no better day to start again and right here right now because i want to be a place where you feel right at home thank you so much pj for beautifully singing that song i hope you like our song feature for today no better day by called out music you can check it out on our spotify playlist entitled destination teens in tune always remember teens it is important that we choose the songs that we listen to let god's word always be our standard in everything you are destined for christ god bless you hi teens welcome to compass i'm pastor Jodel and this is fearless friday and every Friday, we're talking about how can we become bold and fearless for Christ Jesus. So today, we are going to talk about King David and how, as he started, has conquered, without fear, his enemy, Goliath. Let us look at 1 Samuel 17, verse 34 to 37. But David said to Saul, Your servant used to keep sheep for his father. And when there came a lion or a bear and took a lamb from the flock, I went after him and struck him and delivered it out of his mouth. 
And if he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and struck him and killed him. Your servant has struck down both lions and bears, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be like one of them, for he has defiled the armies of the living God. And David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. Now as we can see, David, not yet a king during this time, has been fearless in facing the enemy who is a Philistine giant named Goliath. Have you ever had Goliaths in your life, teens? Problems that seems to be bigger than life. Now let's learn from King David how did he defeat his foe and became fearless for the Lord his God. First of all, he prepared for the battle. He put on in mind everything that God had done for him in the past and how God gave him victory over beasts. That is how he overcame all the circumstances, all the problems, thinking that it is God who did it for him. If God did it in the past, he can do it again. So he said, God has delivered me from the lion and the bear. He defeated them for me. And this Philistine will not be different from them. God will defeat him for me. Now, teens, always remember and always think about the time that you feel like you are in trouble or you are really in trouble. Was God able to deliver you from the trouble that you were in before? He can do it again. And he will do it big time. So always remember what happened in the past. If the Lord has delivered you before, God will deliver you again. Your God is your helper. But we are to prepare in such a way that we bring something into the battle. 1 Samuel 17 verses 38 to 39. Then Saul clothed David with his armor. He put on a helmet of bronze on his head and clothed him with a coat of mail. And David strapped his sword over his armor. And he tried in vain to go, for he had not tested them. Then David said to Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not tested them. So David put them off. So David decided not to wear Saul's armor and weapons because he was not used to them. He hasn't tried and tested all of these things. Now, when you come into the battle or you are on your way to defeat your foe, you are to go with things that are tested. So what did David bring into the battle? David decided to bring what God gave him. 1 Samuel 17 verse 40. Then he took his staff in his hand and chose five smooth stones from the brook and put them in his shepherd's pouch with sling in his hand and he approached the Philistine. And so there's a principle here that we need to learn. And there is no absolute limitation on what God can use to help you achieve success. But He wants you to be involved in your success. So He asks us, what do you have in your hands? What are the things, the abilities, the characteristics that God has given you, teens? God is going to use those things to give you success in everything that you are facing. So we have to make a decision to not depend on what others are doing in order for them to be successful. But what did God already gave you to be successful? What is that in your hands? What are the talents and abilities that you have? God will use it to make you defeat your foe, to make you win in this life. But aside from this, the five stones has a meaning. Well, let me give you some fast facts. The Hebrew word for smooth stone is shelek. In those days, people divided lot ownership using smooth stones. So shelek eventually became associated or interchangeable with another word that is nakal or nakala, all right? Which has nine related meanings. What are these? Destiny, portion, lot, cup, heritage, Rewards, inheritance, share, and possession. 
So, what the, what is David referring to as his portion when he brought his portion from the Lord? Well, he's talking about bringing God himself in the battle. He knows that he is not going alone, but God is with him. So in Psalm 119 verse 57, it says here, The Lord is my portion. I promise to keep your words. And also in Psalm 142 verse 5, it says here, I cry to you, O Lord. I say you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. So who is King David's portion? It is none other than God. And God is with him in every battle that he faced. But most especially this battle with Goliath who seems to be so big, bigger than him, bigger than life. But as you can see, David faced him fearlessly because he knows that God has given him everything for success. He remembered what God did for him in the past and he is not alone. God is with him. Now teens, God is with you every step of the way. Be fearless and be bold because he has given you everything that you need to win battles in this life and he will never leave you nor forsake you your god is your portion and your lot and he will give you victory and success be fearless for christ now let us pray for you heavenly father we come to you in jesus name and we lift the wonderful things to you let us let them live in victory and success all the days of their lives as they face all the things that are overwhelming them with faith remembering what you have accomplished for them in the past, remembering who you are, and that God, you will always be there for them, that you will never leave them nor forsake them. That's why they can do anything. Father, let them be fearless for you. I commit them to your mercy and your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Now, thank you again so much, teens, for being here with us at Destined Nation. See you again next week for another Destination Week. God bless you! But wait, there's more! Yes, we have Destin service every Sunday, 5 p.m. via Zoom and FB Live. And what I love most about Destin service is that we get to fellowship with our fellow teens and also learn from God's Word and being full of Jesus. Amen! So we invite you to share the same fun and joy in this service just for us teens. Yes, and always remember, you are destined for Christ! See you there!